What do you think about Alexa and Google Assist, all these devices mm -hmm. that are going into everybody's homes, even these phones, uh, and they're listening yeah. to us? Yeah. Do you have any concerns about that, or do you just think that it's a wonderful evolution of integrating our lives with technology? <coughs> um, yeah, a little bit of concern. So, like, and I, I know, I also know people who are at different points on that spectrum. Some people are like, that's super creepy, and not even being, like, it's, like, so obviously listening to you that, like, why would you even bring that in your home? Mm -hmm. And then there's people like me who are more on the side of just, like, well, if Google's going to know everything about me anyway, then I might as well get something back for it, right. like some sort of convenience. Right. I think, like, uh, I, we kind of had this discussion in a college class I took a while ago, which was, like, do you have any privacy? And I think I ended up writing an essay with essentially that thesis is, like, well, no, we don't but uh, we'll just get something back from the companies that do something for it. I did, <laughs> definitely. Facebook is not subtle at all. Yeah, so I just pulled up this tweet <laughs> yeah. uh, that you wrote. You, you wrote, Google, we I really value that. privacy. <laughs> Twitter, we never collect anything. Apple, we, we securely encrypt everything on device. Facebook literally gives you an ad for something you dreamt <laughs> about. Yeah. You want to break that down? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you see these statements at, like, every event. At Google I.O., Google's like, yes, you know, we... We're, we're listening to your voice and analyzing it and recognizing it and training your assistant to recognize your voice versus your spouse's right. so that you can both talk to this thing. But we don't collect that. Sure. So you're good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they at least feign some sort right. of like, mm -hmm. you know, we're doing the right thing. Twitter, same thing. You know, we, we know where you are every time you tweet, but it's all good. Mm -hmm. Apple, yeah, we, we kind of just, you use your fingerprint thousands of times every week and we know exactly what it, but like it's just on your phone. We never see that information. It's all good. Damn, I never thought about the fingerprint thing. <laughs> yeah. Face unlock now, it's just scanning your face casually mm -hmm. every time. But yeah. Facebook is just unashamedly <laughs> always, oh, yeah. right? You'll, you'll yeah. like, buy always. something in, the, like, the grocery store and, like, walk home and open Facebook. And it's like, want to buy that again right. online? Because yeah. we have it, like, all the time. So, yeah, that's just kind of what that was inspired by. Do you, are, do you find fault with that? Do you think that it's wrong what Facebook's doing, the brazen use of your privacy to sell you <clears throat> shit? Is that the only reason they use your private information? I mean, they, so they, it's mostly, yeah, it's for advertising. So they're, again, it's, it's basically like trading your privacy for convenience. To them, the ads are so good that it's stuff you would want to buy anyway. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. know you so well based on your behavior on Facebook and all the things we collect, and we own Instagram, and now we know where you shop and where you like to take pictures and all this stuff about you. We know so much about you that an advertiser can come in with something they want to buy and find you because they know you want to buy it. So you're kind of <laughs> trading like them knowing everything about you for like the ads not sucking. Imagine mm -hmm. if it was the other way around. Mm -hmm. We don't know that much about you. We kind of try not to get in your privacy. Here's an ad for diapers. Do you care about that? Like, we'd be like, mm -hmm. oh, these ads are such trash. So hmm. on one hand, it's kind of nice that, like, okay, at least it's advertising something I may actually buy. But on the other hand, it's, like, kind of creepy that they know so much mm -hmm. and always will. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't take it back. Do you hate any of these listed social medias or brands, tech companies, more than other ones? Mm -hmm. I don't hate them. I don't really use Facebook. I hate Facebook. I mean, the, you hate it? I hate like it. Like, you avoid it. I think Facebook is a breeding, is, is like everything that's wrong from from the top to the bottom. How it's really? rampant copyright infringement that Facebook doesn't. Oh, Facebook so, users. Yeah. No, no, no. Even well, they users, allow And the company has, has almost no policy. They have a policy, but it's not enforced. It's not enforced. They no. basically thrive on stealing other people's content. <laughs> and at least YouTube has, has gotten to the place where they're making a goodwill effort to control these things but facebook is just the shittiest people the shittiest company the shittiest interface what do you think about mark zuckerberg like person the zuck yeah <laughs> you can't cut the zuck <laughs> i i i guess facebook is kind of in that place where like it's ubiquitous everyone knows about facebook so he's a robot he's a he's not human <laughs> he's an interesting character i don't know that I much about that. mark zuckerberg yeah i don't know anything about him he's, honestly he's like spock like I almost with a sweater. I think I will. I would like to not know much about him. I like not knowing about him because, mm. like, you see, like he's what the youngest billionaire ever. Like the sweatshirt billionaire guy walks around the office with a laptop, probably mm -hmm. with socks on. But like, what a like, 
Like but he's, but they're so. I feel like they're so nefarious. All the execs at Facebook. I feel like they're got to be a little bit evil, or maybe not evil, but cold. Have you seen uh, the movie about it? What's it called? The Social Network. Actually, I haven't, no. but I've heard very good things. I watched it on a plane, like I do with all the movies I watch, <laughs> and it's pretty good. And it, it gives a somewhat accurate and verifiable backstory to like how the the network came to be and the people in power there. But yeah, just the whole, just. The position they're in is is kind of sketch. They can do so much, right? And we assume they don't. Kind of like the NSA, in a weird way. <laughs> Facebook is a weird alternate NSA. Yeah. They have like as much. Inf- it's a yeah. voluntary NSA. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's how they get you. <laughs> yeah. But for me personally, as time goes on, I use Facebook less, and Thanks. I assume because it becomes less relevant for my life. Okay. I don't like it. I don't like what I see there. Mm-hmm. But I assume that other people would be experiencing the same thing. But yet. There's still so many people using Facebook. Yeah, I I've think it's, stopped. Yeah, using, I think. Uh, but you know what? They, how they get you? I love Instagram, right. so I come out one end and I enter another. Yeah, and they still that got is, me. I do. That love was Instagram. the smartest thing they've done in a while because all these young people who never even signed up, they think they, they see Facebook the same way. You say like MySpace, like it's an yeah. old people's shit. Nobody's on there anymore. But yeah. Instagram, all everyone, all the kids are on Instagram. Yeah. Yep. So Facebook goes, all right. You know what? We'll swoop down and we'll get all of those people's information too <laughs> by just owning it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, they're smart. To their credit, they haven't fucked with Instagram that much. Instagram still pilots its own ship, which I like. I like seeing companies like. Like uh, obviously, I don't like seeing Facebook by Instagram, but I like when they buy it. But they, they also them let alone. them run the ship still. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool. But yeah, they're they're kind of just doing their thing.